You know how sometimes you're just kind of in the mood for a feel-good movie? Yeah. Especially like around the holidays? Oh, yeah. Well, we've got a uh, scoop, I guess you could say, on this new heartwarming comedy. Okay. And get this. It also like marks the return of a total comedy legend. Oh, wow. After seven years. <laughs> we're talking Ben Stiller. Okay. Back in action with this movie, Nutcrackers. Interesting. Yeah. And what makes this even more interesting, I think, is that you've got Stiller, who's like known for his comedic timing and all that. Right. He's teaming up with David Gordon Green, the director. Okay. And Green is known for like darker stuff, like really? Halloween, the new ones, and then even going back, Pineapple Express, which is an action comedy. Yeah. Not really what you think of for like your typical holiday film recipe. Yeah. You know? Totally. It's like a peanut butter and pickle sandwich. Yeah. You wouldn't think those flavors go together, but maybe they totally do. Yeah. And here's where it gets even more interesting. You ready for this? Yeah. The movie is actually inspired by real life. Yeah. So Stiller plays a character who suddenly has to be responsible for his four nephews, right? Uh-huh. But these nephews in real life are these super talented dancers, the Jansen siblings. Okay. And they actually run their own dance studio. Wow. So it's not even just taking their story as like loose inspiration. They yeah. were like, we're going all in on the authenticity. They filmed Nutcrackers on location at the Jansen family farm and their dance studio. Wow. Out in Ohio. That's cool. And it's not just the location, the connection's even deeper. Oh. Yeah, Green is actually a longtime family friend of the Jansons. Oh, wow. So like he saw their dynamic and was like, there's a story here. Wow. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, it's really kind of a heartwarming, like, origin story for a film, I think. It really is. So, like, imagine this. You're a workaholic, right? Oh. You're like a city slicker. You're used to just, like, the daily grind. Yeah. And all of a sudden, boom, you're in charge of these four high-energy kids who are all about ballet. Wow. And it's all set in, like, rural America. <laughs> That's Nutcrackers in a nutshell. I like it. And it really sounds like Stiller brings his classic comedic charm to the role. Yeah. And, you know, when Hulu picks up a movie for eight figures after it premieres at TIFF, that's got to tell you something, right? Yeah, you would think so. Like, they must have a lot of confidence in it. Right. But here's the thing. Yeah. The critics haven't exactly been, like, over the moon about it. Really? Yeah, it's kind of interesting, actually. Yeah. It's sitting at a pretty, I don't know, underwhelming 35% on Rotten Tomatoes right now. Wow. Okay. Right. Um, but that kind of thing does happen sometimes, though, right? Like, that disconnect between what critics think and you're so right how audiences receive something yeah especially with these like family friendly films i feel like yeah totally it's like they almost have a different set of right yeah criteria or something i feel like critics could be missing the point you know yeah. like they're so focused on looking for like innovative storytelling or complex characters or mm -hmm. whatever else they're looking for right and that's valid i mean it's just a different yeah. like way of engaging with something totally and for audiences who just want a nice heartwarming feel-good experience especially this time of year yeah i can totally see that appealing to them right exactly it's about like the simple pleasure sometimes yeah you know? totally and especially with nutcrackers we know it has that real life connection the passion behind it yeah so speaking of passionate Ben Stiller. Oh, yeah. This is his first on-screen role in, like, seven years. Wow. It seems like he's really been enjoying, like, taking a step back. Yeah. And focusing on directing and producing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you make of that? Like, why do you think he chose to come back for this in particular? Right. You know, like, what is it about this one? Yeah, what brought him back yeah. for this? Exactly. Well, in a recent interview, he actually said that his break from acting wasn't intentional at all. Interesting. It was just like, it wasn't some big decision. That's just kind of how things happened. And get this, the Hollywood strikes last year. Yeah. Those actually played a part in him being able to do this movie. Oh, wow. How so? Because it created this, like, perfect window of time where he was available. Oh, wow. He even said, like, if this hadn't happened during this specific time, a few months later, I couldn't have done it. That's wild. It's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. Talk about serendipity. Yeah, like it was just meant to be. It was meant to be like fate or something. Exactly. It makes you wonder if there's something special about projects that come together like that, you know? Totally, totally. So it really does seem like Nutcrackers was like meant to be. It does, yeah. But okay, let's get down to it. Okay. Should you watch this movie? Well, I mean, it doesn't sound like it's going to be like, you know... Winning any Oscars or anything? Right, haha. -ha. Yeah, probably not up for any awards. Right. But it sounds like a really solid, heartwarming, feel-good story. Yeah. 
And you've got Ben Stiller coming back to comedy. Mm -hmm. Plus, the whole real life inspiration thing is really cool. Yeah. Totally. And then on top of that, you have this director who's known for like kind of going outside the box. Right. Trying something new here. Yeah. So I don't know. There's a lot to appreciate there, I think. There is. There's something to be said about movies that are just trying to make you feel good. Oh, absolutely. Especially, like you said, around the holidays when you just <laughs> kind of want something. Totally. That'll leave you with that warm and fuzzy feeling. Yeah. Exactly. Just a nice escape. Exactly. Yeah. But here's a thought. Okay. I feel like this movie is kind of making us ask a bigger question. Oh, interesting. In a world of like, you know, these huge superhero movies and crazy special effects and stuff, mm. are we forgetting about how powerful a simple story can be? That's a really good point, especially during the holidays, like you said. Right. Like maybe Nutcrackers is a good reminder mm -hmm. that sometimes those are the stories that really stick with us. The ones that connect with us on a human level. Totally. <laughs> the ones that actually like mean something. Exactly. Those are the ones we remember. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it, Nutcrackers. A heartwarming comedy mm -hmm. that just might surprise you. It might. You can check it out on Hulu starting November 29th. Nice. Let us know if you see it. What you think? Yeah, we'd love to hear your take. Catch you next time for another deep dive. See you.